Taking a break too? Suffocating it gets in the cargo hold. Gotta say, that uniform looks pretty good on you. Awfully nice of him to let us hitch a ride to Aresia in exchange for work. They got me moving cargo around, and you helping out as a sailor on this voyage. And they're even paying and feeding us, too. Pretty sweet deal, if you ask me. Captain Barbaros. He looks intimidating, but he's a good man. Dependable, too. Thanks to him, we'll be able to hit the next stop on our journey once we dock. I'm a little sad we gotta say goodbye to Xandria. But there's no time to be moping. When adventure's waiting for us. I'm looking forward to it, buddy. So, Adam, what is our next stop anyway? Once we dock in Sunyan. Greek is just around the bend. <laughs> what, are you a poet now? Or are you trying to talk like Luton? If you ask me, I would have preferred heading west, along the coast of Africa. Whoa, whoa! You guys voyaging to Altago? Ah, Kathy! Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> you bet we are. Adol has always been looking for a way to get to Altago. Unbelievable! You do know about the conflict between the Kingdom of Altago and the Roman Empire, don't you? Roman Navy vessels are pretty much the only ships that can enter that region of the sea. <laughs> Heard that you're an adventurer. That just seems reckless. Yeah, well, there's never a dull moment when I'm tagging along with this guy. Adel can't walk more than three steps without stepping in some kind of adventure. What do you say, Kathy? You like tagging along too? <laughs> Thanks, but I'll pass. Anyway, you two, break time's almost over. Dogu, I need you to get back to work in the cargo board. Back on the clock already, huh? No problem. I'll head down right now. Catch you later, Adol. Um, let's see. You've already learned the basics of keeping a lookout. Hmm. Please go see Captain Barbaros. He told me to send you to his quarters once your job was finished. The captain's quarters can be found at the quarter deck, near the stern of the ship. As I recall, you introduced yourself to me as an adventurer. Tell me, do you know of the Isle of Saren? No. Understandable. The Gate to Sea is home to many islands, after all. She's a treacherous sea to navigate. More ships than I can count have run afoul of her jagged islands. The Isle of Saren has a particularly fearsome reputation, for you see, every ship that approaches the island sinks by some mysterious happenstance. Yes, its surrounding waters are perilous to navigate, but that alone does not explain why so many ships sink. About five years ago, a Roman vessel conducting an exploratory voyage approached the island. The sea was calm ran afoul of nothing, yet I heard it was pulled under all the same. Grecian mythology speaks of monsters called Sarens, which lure ships to their doom. The pirates who first discovered that island declared it cursed ground, and named it accordingly. Well, no one alive knows the answer to that question. The unlucky ones who have set foot on the island were never seen or heard from again. Even the saltiest sailors to voyage the gate to sea would tell you nothing about the island. Huh. It seems my tale did not but stoke the fires of your adventurous spirit. I share this tale with every new member of my crew. When I first told Cathew, he was so frightened that he refused to leave his quarters. But I see you're made of sterner stuff than he, lad. <laughs> now, 
sorry to keep you so long. However, I insist on holding a small welcome party whenever new passengers come aboard. I want you to attend the party and provide security. I've been a captain long enough to have seen many people during my years at sea. Between your skill and temperament, you are indeed the perfect man for the job. Please, speak to Kathu for the details about your assignment. I know you won't let me down that hard. Good evening, passengers. 